Well, the Wisconsin Badgers are 9-6-2, dropped five spots to 14th in the national rankings after a series split with Mercyhurst. Now the Big Ten season resumes with a trip to Mariucci Arena to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice of Wisconsin hockey, and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialists at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. All you smart holiday shoppers will be glad to know Buick has great deals planned for you this Black Friday. Or if you prefer Crimson Red Tint Coat Friday. Or Quicksilver Metallic Friday. Ring in the holidays with Buick. It's the Enclave Black Friday event at your Buick dealer. Get 20% below MSRP on all 2017 Enclave premium models. That's over 10500 on this specially equipped Enclave. Well, Tony, a split with Mercyhurst last weekend, and the best line on the ice was uh, Cameron Hughes, Seamus Malone, and Will Johnson. They combined for three goals, ten points, were plus nine. What did they do well this past weekend? Every shift, uh, the game plan was to, to put pressure on their D by getting pucks behind them, uh, by protecting it down low, and by taking it to the net. And they funneled everything to the net. I thought they did an outstanding job of just being aggressive offensively to make plays at the net and they get rewarded for it. So they get two goals that weren't the traditional great play goals, but they were ugly goals by, by getting pucks in the net and crashing hard. So I think it's, it was a mindset that they had coming into the weekend that, that they needed to get going offensively and let's simplify it, let's make it more direct uh, on how our approach is once we get into the offensive zone, and obviously it was really big for our team. Yeah, Seamus Malone was named the third star in the Big Ten. He had two goals and four points, two goals, in fact, uh, three points on Saturday night, Sunday night against Mercyhurst. Still getting used yeah. to that Saturday-Sunday thing. Thankfully, it's back to Friday-Saturday this week. Is that an example, though, for the rest of the players? I'm not saying that the other lines didn't perform or do things well, but is that an example for the well, other they, lines? Well, they were the most impactful on the series, for sure. Uh, because of their contributions, because of making the other team have to defend around their net, of making it hard on their goaltender. So yeah, it's an example. And, and you know, if you watch and you look at the goals scored every night, whether it be in the NHL or it be in college hockey, whether it be in USHL, wh wherever it is, lots of the goals are rebounds, tips, screens, guys crashing the net, guys paying a price around the net. And and you know, the games are decided by. Let's face it, all of our games are decided by one or two goals. Right. So the difference between winning or losing is whether or not you're able to get a screen or tip goal or a rebound goal or or one of those uh, muck and grind it type of goals. If you look at the goal that they scored on the Saturday night game to beat us, our goalie didn't see the puck. So mm -hmm. Kyle was out trying to find it. And there was a guy right in front of him. He ended up tipping it in, but but uh, he paid a price in front of our net to get there. And I think that's the mentality that we have to have more consistently. Yeah. Cameron Hughes set one of the best screens all night. That was on Saturday on the final goal scored by Jake Linhart. For Jake, it was his first goal in 22 games. Let's take two minutes with Jake Linhart. When did you realize that you wanted to be a, a hockey player? Um, I actually had no idea what hockey was when I was younger, but uh, a uh, kid moved in across the street. Uh, his dad was really into hockey. We ended up being best friends, and that's who actually got me into hockey. Yeah, was so. it street hockey or in the rink or what? Uh, they would build a rink in their backyard every year. So that's how I got introduced to ice hockey. Took skating lessons a couple times and then started playing with him. How so. old were you at the time? Do you remember? Probably about five or six, maybe. Really? That's what I think. But yeah. So when you, when you got out there, did you have the bug right away? Did you know this is something that's really kind of cool? I actually didn't. But um, I don't know, I just kind of stuck with it. I was playing a couple sports at the time, at, like throughout uh, elementary school, middle school, baseball, golf, and I ended up sticking with hockey and it worked out, so. Yeah, I would say it worked out pretty mm -hmm. well. You were a pretty good golfer though, weren't you? Not too bad. Uh, my dad definitely helped, helped me a lot, but uh, that was one of the sports I wish I would have been able to stick with a little bit more. Um, but. Yeah, I'm not that bad. Yeah. Barry Linhart, in fact, is the club pro at Brookfield Country Club, mm -hmm. or actually um, 
what is it, uh, Blue, Blue Mountain, Mountain Country yeah. Club in Brookfield. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're not that bad. Yeah. Right? Now your yeah. dad's pretty good. Yeah. Are you he's better than good. him now, though? Uh, I might be able to hit it further. Hit it, further. hit it further than him, but definitely not better. He's got a better short game. Jake Linhart, uh, this past weekend against Mercyhurst, scored his first goal mm -hmm. in 22 games. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the last goal prior to that? No, I don't actually. It was against Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, there we go. Yes. I think it was a five hole. Yeah, I remember it. Ice okay. burner. Ice burner. the goalie's legs. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. So you, you've gone through a stretch where you don't score. Do you mm -hmm. start squeezing the stick? Everybody talks about that. I think so. Um, I definitely, it's in the back of your mind. Um, I started to throw, just try to throw more pucks on net, hoping one would go in. And, you know, finally I got, got a break this weekend, and hopefully they'll just start coming like. They were the last two years, so. Yeah. You, were, mm -hmm. you didn't throw that one at the net. You hammered that one at the yeah, net. Yeah, I kind of put my head down, <laughs> shot as hard as I could, and I looked up and it went in, so. Julie? Wow, you look tired. I got up at 3 a.m. for Black Friday, but I saved hundreds. How'd you make out? I slept in. Still got a great deal. Oh. Get something you really want during the GMC Acadia Black Friday event. Get 15% below MSRP on all 2017 Acadia SLT models. That's over $6,700 on this GMC Acadia. We are professional grade GMC. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know. I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Before we get to the Golden Gophers, we heard from Jake Linhart a little while ago. Jake scored his first goal of the season. He had six goals, 23 points last year. He's been good for you. This past Sunday against Mercyhurst, he may have had his best game of the year. He had that goal, plus he blocked six shots. Uh, he was really good for you. I think so, too. I think he's... Uh... He's been a warrior. He was one of the guys last year that really helped us on the back end of solidifying how we wanted to play. Uh, his courage and being able to block shots. I thought him and Tischke were, were two guys that set the example for the standards for how Badger hockey and Badger hockey defensemen were supposed to play. Uh, so uh, he's got a ton of respect for me. This year has been a little bit more of a roller coaster ride for him. Uh, but what we saw on Sunday is, is hopefully what we'll see over the rest of the year. And that's a courageous player that, uh, that understands the differences between winning and losing and pays the price to, to do it defensively and can contribute offensively. That was a huge goal for us. Uh, and I think uh, hopefully that one gives him a little more confidence on, uh, on wanting to shoot more and, and getting more pucks through to the net. Sure. And Tony mentioned, too, virtually every game is decided by one or two goals. That was the case in all four games last season against Minnesota. Three one-goal games, one two-goal games. A uh, game, the Badgers and the Gophers split the four-game series. I'm expecting the same this weekend up at Mariucci. How about you? Those hockey games last year uh, were as fun and as energetic as any games that I've been around, whether it be collegiate, whether it be NHL. It didn't matter. Uh, when Minnesota and Wisconsin get together, and there's so much talent on the ice, there's so much pride, there's so much history and tradition in both programs, and two teams that, you know, now we're both, they've been ranked all year. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, they're coming off a disappointing uh, result-wise series against uh, Notre Dame last week. They're a great team, and I think that we have a lot of similarities between programs, and, and like you said, last year's games, the overtime game here, and we bounce back to beat them the next night, and we beat them 3-2 their place. They beat us 3-2 the next night. All of the games could have gone either way. They were outstanding hockey games with great players on it. I'm really looking forward to this being the same type of series as those. Yeah, have fun. Thanks. Will do. Thank you. Sure. Tony Granato, Badgers head coach. Wisconsin and Minnesota Friday and Saturday night. Both games start at 7 o'clock. Rob Andringa is back on the radio wow. joining me this weekend on the Badger Sports Network. How about that? Also, Friday night's game will be on Fox Sports Wisconsin, Saturday's game on Fox Sports Wisconsin Plus. For Tony Granato, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.